Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the operation failed error message 0x0000011B that you are experiencing on your Windows computer when attempting to connect network printers from different remote computers. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external hard drive. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set, so double click on that. And there should be a control folder in here. Double click on that one as well. And then finally, there should be a print folder. Just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path at this time, you can see it up at the top of the screen. Each backslash is a different subfolder or sub key we've gone under to get to this point. On the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area. Select new and select DWR 32 bit value. You want to name this value RPC. A-U-T-H-N, level, privacy, enabled, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, R-P-C, A-U-T-H-N, level, privacy, enabled. The first letter of each word should be capitalized here. And hit enter. And now that you have created this value, you want to go ahead and double click on it. Make sure the value data is set to zero in here. And once that's done, go ahead and select OK. And now you want to go open up the search menu, type in services. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And then go down to the print spooler service. Double click on it. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. If service status is running, go ahead and stop the service and then start it up. You may want to power cycle through it regardless. Just stop and start the service. And then once you're done with that, fine, okay. You want to close out of here and restart your computer. And once the computer has been restarted, you want to go on to your client computer and then attempt to connect to the printer by just right-clicking on the printer through the network folder and then just select connect in the context menu that appears. And then it should be able to connect back to the host machine here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.